Hi, I'm Eric Summerer, and here's what's coming from the Dice Tower this week. Hey, I'm Tom Basil, and you're watching Dice Tower Network News for January 9th to January 15th, 2012. We're a day late this time, but and for good reason. If you see, we're kind of in a total mess, the games to be reviewed, all kinds of stuff going on here, because for the past uh, couple weeks now, I've been working on getting something new together. So here we go. You can now go to Dicetowernews.com. It's a new website, Dicetowernews.com, uh, which is kind of a compliment to this video, and this video will be on that site once a week. And in Dicetowernews.com, we have a twofold interest there. For one thing, we are going to be uh, taking a look at the news from the board gaming world and card gaming world. All kinds of news will be there. Uh, you can subscribe to just the news if you like and come in and see the posts. Miles is my edit news editor there. If you have news that you would like us to post on here, please email Miles or myself. You can find out the information at the website. The other half is the best of the blogosphere. There's a lot of good blogs out there. I think there's 17 billion, 242 million about board games alone. Well, you don't have time to look at all those blogs. So what we, we want to do is highlight when some of these blogs or different places around the net have a really good article or a really good review about board games. Do you have a good blog post or do you know a good blog post? Send one in to us. Uh, Andy is in charge of the blog post there. So we're really excited about this. Again, if you have news or blogs, let us know. And then each week, I'm going to take time to look at some of the news for this week. So let's take a look at the big news from the past week. We have uh, Games Workshop made a 40% profit. Woo hoo hoo! But they said that most of that. Uh, a big deal of that profit they made was from licensing their board games out. So way to go, Fantasy Flight Games! Uh, let's see, the new, well, my favorite map of all of Memoir 44, which is the Hedgerow Hell and the Tigers map, is now released online. Yay! Vocabulary and Word on the Street are both coming out with expansions from Out of the Box Publishing. There's a Lego Star Wars game coming out. Come on, talk about how awesome that's going to be. And then the big news is a new expansion for Quarriers called Quarmageddon. Quarmageddon is going to have 40 new dice, 6 new creatures, 2 new spells, a box insert where you can put this one and the last expansion together in Quarriers, and some optional rules. Some rules I think will really make a, a cool difference to the game. Uh, and so go to our website and check those out. I'm really pumped about this expansion. But we're not just here about the Board Gaming World news. We're here about the Dice Tower Network news, so let me tell you what's coming out. Ludology number 23 is coming, has, was published last week actually, where they talked with Russ Wakeland from the D6 generation and talked a bit about graphic design. This week you'll see the How to Play 2011 show, where Ryan Sturm talks about the best games from 2011. But if you want the real best games from 2011, you will check out the Dice Tower episode 239, which is number one of two parts in which we look at the best and worst games from 2011. We'll be talking about the worst games and family games and party games in this part. And then video reviews. Ryan is doing a pile of them. Biblios. Lord of the Rings, the card game, the very interesting paperclip rails, and Blood Bowl Team Manager. Joe and his wife Monica are going to be reviewing for the people. Mr. Castelli with Castelli Reviews will be taking a look at Combat Commander Europe. And then the Vassal team will be taking a look at quite a few games, including a couple surprises you'll see tomorrow. But also the Catan Scenarios, Oil, uh, Expedition Sumatra, Daru Daru, Weird Tales, my girls are helping me with. And then the Miami Dice Show is going to be taking a look at A Few Acres of Snow, Mundus, Novas, and The Gang. Whoa, there's so much I can't contain myself. I'm really excited about it. And there's even more stuff on the horizon. Uh, it's a great time, a great week. Check out Dicetower.com. Check out Dicetowernetwork.com. And especially the new Dicetowernews.com. Whew, I need to go to bed. Lots of things coming on. See you soon. Find all this and more at Dicetower.com. See you soon.